All right, I wanted to do a bonus one because I got a package in the mail. I kind of knew it was coming, but I didn't know exactly what was in it. I have a pretty good idea. So here it is, and it's probably too big to get on the screen. It's a massive, massive box. It's huge, and it is heavy. Um, pretty sure what's gonna be in here, I think I know exactly, because it's coming from ASG or Action Sports Games, but it's a lot heavier than I expected, especially on one side, so I'm kind of curious to see how this all plays out. So, get the old knife out. Always be careful. Always scared to cut these things open because, kind of get this up a little higher. All right. I mean, this thing is it's big. It's off like, off the screen big. I mean, like, why is my hands here? All right. So, okay, all right, here's what we got. So first off, I'm gonna start with the small stuff. We're gonna go, oh, that's probably why it's heavy. Got some 0.3 double BBs, 0.25 double BBs, and 0.2 double BBs. Everybody's doing the bottles now. I do like their caps though. They got a really big cap, it's really grippy. Kinda like that. And let's see what else. Okay, awesome. Excited about this. I know you guys are going great, just a battery, and that's what this is. But this is an extra battery for the Evo. So now I've got two, so I'm set. And these guys hop up. Okay, now this is cool. All right, so what I've got here is the Airsoft Systems Control Unit. So ASG, I did hear ASG was gonna start to do uh, distribution on these. So this is really cool that they're doing this. Um, and then it's got the hop-up unit. Okay, so this kind of, for lack of better description, this could be like a poor man's uh, PTW, although this isn't like exactly a cheap setup. So yeah, so it comes with not only the a the ACU, like the, the MOSFET, that's like a programmable MOSFET, but it's also got this hop-up chamber that detects when there's BBs in here and when there's not. So it'll cut off and you actually have to do it like a system of PTW or the Evo, you gotta press the little button or the lever uh, that usually would drop the bolt back into the ready position to turn it back on. So that's gonna be neat. That's gonna be a pretty challenging install. And I'm wondering what gun I'm gonna put that in. I'm trying to go through it, because this looks like it is, okay, so it's for a version two here. So it'll be one of the M4s I've got. And, oh, there's more. Hang on before we get to the big thing. These, huh, Airsoft Systems mags. 85 round polymer mags. All right, so it's a box of five of them. And they kind of look like a Lancer mag, I guess. Maybe, not really. So, uh, I kind of like the top, I don't know if you guys can see here. It looks like it's gonna push most of the BBs out. Actually, it might feed them all, or most all of them out. So they are mid caps. These look really, really well made. They definitely don't bend like an iPhone 6, that's for sure. So those are cool, excited about that. See what they fit and what they feed in, because I know mags are always a big challenge for everybody. But this is it, and I'm gonna tell you, this box is still kind of heavy for what it is. Oh, and, and Bob, and you guys don't know Bob's the uh, marketing guy at ASG. Thank you for not putting packing peanuts. I did notice because the last time if you guys watched my Evo unboxing video, packing peanuts everywhere. So finally, and I'll just get the big box out of the way. Oh, oh yeah, you guys know what this is. So this will be a neat upcoming review. So if you guys don't know, this is the M40A3 sniper rifle. It's made by McMillan, the real one is, and it's used exclusively, or almost exclusively, by the United States Marine Corps. And uh, here it is. And this is actually a lot heavier than I expected. This is uh, the bulk of the weight. I mean, the BBs took up some weight, but this is pretty beefy, but it seems like a lot of it's in the stock. Is that metal? Oh, that is metal. So this cheek rest here, this whole piece right here is metal and that stock seems really solid. So let's see, that grip's interesting too. Okay, so the weight's all in the back, so it really doesn't feel like you're holding something heavy all the way up the front. This thing's so long, I can't even like have it. So yeah, it's not, not bad at all actually. I was worried, it's like, oh man, this thing's gonna weigh a ton, but I don't think it will. So this looks really cool. So guys, uh, this is definitely on the short list of review items. Looks like the hop-ups here on the bottom as well. In the magazine, is it behind? Oh, it's cool, it's down in here. So, 
Hey, there's the mag. It's tiny. It's itty bitty. Wonder how many rounds it holds. Well, anyway, I'll be getting a review going on this shortly. And I do know, and it says it on the outside of the box, that this is OEM'd by VFC. So it's a little bit more on the pricier end when it comes to uh, airsoft sniper rifles. I think this one is like right around $299 or somewhere in that price point. So this is going to be a pretty premium airsoft gun. And it says here on the side, I don't know if you guys can read it or not, it says 1.7 joules. So that's about what, 425 feet per second, give or take out of the box. And I'm also interested to see if this thing takes um, Marui like VSR 10 internal parts. I've heard that it's pretty compatible and I've got a ton of parts sitting around so I'm going to find out when we do our review. I definitely want to see what you can do because I mean a sniper rifle is meant to be turned up. So guys thanks for the Airsoft LG Quickie. A little fast unboxing and some new stuff that came in the mail. Looks like I got a ton of stuff from ASG and I'm excited about the Airsoft Systems Control Unit. Excited about those magazines and of course excited about this guy. So stay tuned. We'll probably see a review on this here in the next few weeks on the channel right here. And if you guys don't subscribe, please click the old subscribe button. Uh, there should be a little button up in the top left corner, a little logo up there. You can always click throughout the show or hit subscribe below. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next Airsoft Algae Quickie.